Good morning internet. This is just a quick little uh, review of DAS modelling clay. Now I've used this clay, modelling clay, for about, oh I don't know, 10 years probably. Um, I used to run little classes for sculpting um, with complete beginners and DAS was my favourite and pr well preferred uh, modelling clay of choice. It's an air dry clay um, they recently brought out a stone a dry one which is a, a lot harder than the normal DAS but I found normal DAS perfectly adequate for all my sculpting requirements um, and especially for new students in class it does take um, tool use, a filing, um, power power filing and sanding uh, you can drill it, I've even put screws into it and uh, it holds screws well I tend to make my sculptures on a wire and paper mache um, structure um, and that gives support to the modelling clay and also if you bulk it out with um, silver paper or newspaper bulk your big forms out with that you use a lot less DAS it becomes a lot less heavy and light and I found that that way it's a lot more durable if you drop a sculpture off the table often more often than not it bounces you might get a fine hairline crack in it on some of the thinner pieces I, I do a lot of antelope with horns and things like that and they tend to get damaged tails, horns, ears um, but they're very very easily fixed again with a bit of DAS um, it's great It's great to repair stuff uh, you do some of these sculptures in bronze and drop them off a table you're probably saying goodbye to 500 quid for a bronze repair these things you can repair it yourself and you can and the, the repairs are virtually invisible if you do it correctly you can get all manner of finishes on them. I love doing stuff out of air dry clay, painting like bronze, and then handing it to people and watching their arms go up in the air because they're expecting it to be heavy and it's actually really lightweight. It's a superb clay. You can get fine, fine detail on it. Um, you know, on really small models, you can you can get hair texture. You can model eyes and nose shapes. Um, you can do lettering, all sorts of stuff, feather details on birds. It's really adaptable, really forgiving, and um, you know you don't need any special equipment. You can start to sculpt without buying a kiln and then learning all about ceramics and the dangerous materials. This stuff is really good. You can't go wrong with it. Um, it does everything that I ask of it. Um, you know, sculptures aren't things that you play about with. You tend to put them there and look at look at them and turn them round every now and then. And if that's all you're doing, make stuff out of this. Last forever. Um, it's cheap. It's um, readily available at most craft shops. Um, you can pick that up at uh, Hobby Craft and uh, any of the major arts and craft retailers. Um, you know all the big names, Wix, um, Hobbycraft, <coughs> WH Smith I think, Stockit, so it's a re readily available everywhere. DAS, I think it's about £4 a pack now, it's pennies and, and the joy you get out of creating something new, it's absolutely worth the money. Uh, I always have a stock of it, um, as I say it's my go-to preferred modelling stuff, I mean when you get good at this, if you want to do something in bronze, you know, for to uh, make your name and, and cast in bronze. I don't know why a lot of sculptors don't take you serious if you don't sculpt in bronze, but it's extremely expensive. A tiny, small piece, a uh, buffalo busthead, cost me £180 to have it done, and that was about five years ago. Incredibly expensive. You pay for what you get, there's a lot of work goes into a bronze a lot of processes but you can create bronze looking items just as well with a four pound pack of uh, DAS um, a pot of matte black paint and some bronze effects absolutely superb most people if I don't tell them 
they think they're bronze so there you go whatever you do um, whatever you, you're into sculpting and as you can see my big thing is wildlife but I do do other things I do uh, clock faces I do bas relief sculptures uh, the human form uh, sh you know shields armor stuff like that anything it doesn't matter you can make it out of this stuff um, the armatures like I say a bit of wire some papier mache over the top uh, and then start sticking your das on and sculpting it superb stuff highly recommended buy yourself a pack get sculpting and enjoy it that's it for me if you like the video please 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 give me a nice thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more stuff there's a lot on my channel there about creating these sculptures so uh, if you're just starting out drop by give it a look and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.